Hello everyone, let's talk about finding the derivative of this function here. This is a function with a square root that's covering the x squared minus 10x plus 6. And this is a function that requires the use of the chain rule to differentiate. Okay, so first let's recall what the chain rule is talking about. So the chain rule is saying this. Let's say you have a function and you have a function composition and so g is an inner function of the f, and then you are differentiating this function here. What happens is that when you differentiate this function, you are going to be getting the derivative of the outer function, and then you plug in your inner function in there without changing it. So let me just highlight the inner function in a different color. So your inner function, um, you, you take the the derivative of the outer function, and then you need to plug in your inner function in there. Okay. And so see that this is really just copying the inner function from there. Okay. So what it says is that we are just copying the inner function. And then what do we have there? Um, we need to multiply. Okay, so we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So we have the g prime of x right here. So that's what the chain rule is talking about. So in order for you to master the chain rule, you need to be able to identify which one is the outer function, which one is the inner function. Okay, so let's get started for this problem. So. First, let's just write down our uh, outer function right here. Our outer function is actually what? Our outer function is actually the square root, right? So it's really just the square root. So you can think of it as what? As something to the one half power, or you can simply just write it as the square root of x, or in this case, just x to the one half power. Sometimes I just use a blank right here to indicate that, okay, so um, instead of just putting the x right here, I need to put in the inner function in here. Okay, so instead of using x, I can actually just use all that and then put it in here. So that's my outer function. What about the inner function? The inner function, okay, the inner function is just that x squared minus 10x plus 6. So we'll put that here. Oh, actually, it's x squared first. x squared minus 10x and then plus 6. See that? Just imagine that you substitute this x squared minus 10x plus 6 in here, then you are actually getting the original function. Or you can just think of substituting this x squared minus 10x plus 6 into this x right here, then replacing the x with this expression, then you are still getting the original function, right? It doesn't matter which expression that you pick right here, but it's more visual if you just pick this one, the blank, and then the whole quantity raised to the one half power. Just imagine that you substitute this thing in here, okay? And then you are getting back the original function. So now we have identified the outer function, the inner function, and then now we can start taking the derivative using the chain rule, okay? so we have f prime of x. Okay, now, what's going on here is that we need to take the derivative of the outer function first. That's important, so we differentiate this outer function, which is what, which is really just using the power rule. So bring down the one over two to the front, and then we get to subtract one from the original power. So that will give us what? That would give us one over two, I'm bringing down this one half to the front, and then I'm just going to leave the blank as a blank, okay? Or if it's x, then it will just we just leave it as x, right? But now just leave it as a blank because we need to substitute the or copy the inner function in here. So what about the power? We gotta subtract one from the one half because of the power rule. So we have negative one over two right here, right? One half minus one is negative one half. And then now, what do we put in here? Just remember that you got to copy the inner function in here. So let's just copy. So we have x squared minus 10x plus 6. Is that okay? Just copying the inner function in here. 
And then we are done with just this first factor. Now, the second factor is the derivative of the inner function. So we got to take the derivative of this thing and then multiply it by the first factor. So if we do that, then we need to multiply by what is the derivative of x squared minus 10x plus 6? That's going to be 2x minus 10. Okay, so that's our um, derivative of the inner function. But that's not okay to put it this way because there are more than one terms right here. So if you put it this way, you're really just indicating that the 2x is being multiplied by this whole expression right here, but the minus 10 is not being multiplied by this uh, this expression. But that's not okay because we actually need to take the whole 2x minus 10 and multiply by this one half and then x squared minus 10x plus 6 to the negative one half. Okay, so it's important to put a pair of parentheses around the 2x minus 10. This is a really common mistake that um, students will make on the exam. So it's really, you have actually done the whole problem correctly, but then if you forget a pair of parentheses that will cause you to lose unnecessary points, that's really unnecessary. Okay, so make sure that you put a pair of parentheses to surround the 2x minus 10, then now you have the derivative. Yeah, so put a note right here, do not forget the parentheses when you have more than one term. If you only have one term, let's say if you take the derivative of the inner function and you only get a 2x right here, that's okay. You do not need to put that pair of parentheses. But if you have more than one term, put the parentheses. Okay, um, this is the derivative. Basically, the problem is done. But we sometimes we just want to simplify, right? So let's just try simplifying this, which would be, let's see. So we can distribute this 1 over 2 to the 2x and then the minus 10, right? So we are going to be getting um, x squared minus 10x plus 6 to the negative 1 over 2. And then if you distribute this 1 over 2 to the uh, 2x minus 10, then we are actually just getting uh, x minus 5. Okay, so now we have simplified the answer. Or if you do not want a negative exponent and also a fraction exponent, you could have converted back to a radical. And so it will become x minus 5. And then all over, what is that? That's the square root. Uh, why do I put it at the bottom? Because of the negative exponent. And then the 1 half power is the square root. So we have that here. That looks too bad. So let me see. So x squared minus 10x and then plus 6. And then, and then now we have the derivative. OK, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Give me a like. And also, please check out my other videos. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.